So I think that in the area of health, in the area of hypertension, etc., we want to make sure that we are healthy and enjoying a low carbohydrate meal is far easier, much tastier than you've ever imagined. As with many diets and eating regimes, there's no need to be afraid or concerned with being able to enjoy your food and eat well at the same time. Now, thanks to what they would call a low carb taco pie, we're able to enjoy a drop dead delicious meal without the carbohydrate guilt, which is lovely. So Teresa Aliette is still here and is ready to rock our worlds with some beautiful Mexican flavor. <laughs> With no cabaret, it's gonna be absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Teresa, hola. Should we, should we talk about it? <laughs> I am so proud You're of you. Off Did me. you just say? <laughs> I am proud of Teresa. She's done it. Oh. Thank you very much. Okay, now. <laughs> <laughs> Low carb inspired. Usually, when you think about this cheat meal, you know, yes. like uh, tacos, it's always something that's got a lot of carbs and a lot of fats in it. That's but right. But this is low carb. So, what are we going to do to to kind of carb it down? Okay, so we are making a taco pie. So okay. this, you can use a sort of a low carb taco or a wrap if you wanted to, but we're taking that element out. So I've got some onions that we've been softening in smells our pan. So good. Smells amazing. And we're going to add some beef mince. Okay, great. You can use pork mince, uh, chicken mince, any mince you like. I've done it with turkey mince before actually, and it was and can really you, if good. If you are going to go meat free, just, to, yeah. just asking for a meat free friend, what would you put in there if you were to add that? I tend to go for lentils. Lentils and mushrooms is a really nice combination. Oh, beautiful. Very filling, and you get that sort of meaty texture from the mushrooms. We were talking about it earlier. Indeed. So that would work really, really well. Okay. So you're going to brown that in your pan. That's beautiful. And then also yeah. the spices that you choose here. Yes. You are Essential. obviously going for authentic Mexican spices. Yeah. yeah. So let's, so let's go through them. We're using a combination of paprika, cumin, and coriander. And at this point, you could add some chili if you wanted to. Yes, please. So you could add a kick. Do you like the chili? I love the chili. <laughs> you know, when people ask me, like, what's your favorite food call? It's like, it's a habanero. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, I my think goodness. I think habaneros are so fruity. Yes, and yeah. If you get past the burn, there is actually a beautiful flavor to them as yeah, well. Yeah, I so. like a bit of a kick as well. Not too much. Um, but, yeah, you can obviously make it to your liking. Indeed. So add as much or as little as you want. Okay. So you're going to cook that until it's brown. Um, please, I'm please. going to... <laughs> So, you know, when you say, when you use a yeah. taco, you say, it, 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 this comes naturally, so, uh, <laughs> so okay. Enjoy it with a bit of tequila, maybe, a little bit later, oh. so. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit early for that. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> okay. okay, so right. I'm going to jump ahead here. So we are going to add some tomatoes. It's just a tin of tomatoes. So, tin tomatoes. Very, easy, very easy. easy. You've got that Great. in your cupboard. Some salt and pepper. And you're going to cook this off for about six minutes just to thicken it up. Okay. And then at that point, if you wanted to use it for a filling for a wrap or an enchilada, you could totally do that. You could okay. also make a big batch and freeze it. So keep it in your freezer for busy days. That's great to know. You yeah, know that's actually yeah. been a, been a lifestyle happy. thing. If you're really busy and you only have one day to really get the meal prep going, yes, that's a yes. perfect way to actually get those flavors out there. That's and of course, when it's frozen, you obviously want to give it some ch a chance to thaw for a yeah, few couple of definitely. hours before you consume. Take okay, it out lovely. in the morning and then cook it up in the evening. Okay. I'm going to make our topping. We've got some sour cream here and some mayonnaise. So again, Sour cream and mayonnaise. Very, very you see, now we're talking. No, no, this, these are the good fats that I enjoy <laughs> with any sort of taco meal. Beautiful. It's yeah. got to, you've got to have some of that. As well. And this you're going to just serve on top, so you can mix this up while your mince is cooking. And then what you're going to do is take your mince off the heat, let it cool, okay. and then we're going to stir in two eggs. So beat your eggs, stir them in. Oh, really? And then from there you can put it into your oven dish, top it with some cheese. Okay. Maybe you want to do ours over there. Put some cheese over the mince and oh then you bake nice. it for half an hour. Oh, this is great. So, so the mayo that you used, I couldn't help but notice, is that's a dairy-free mayo, isn't it? This is a, let me see this, oh. So you could oh. use either one. If you oh. were following a dairy-free diet, then Look you're sorted. You this is great. So may I, may I add some cheese Please to our mince? That's yes, right. Yes. So that one, we've added the eggs already. Okay. Let it cool, added the eggs, and then pop it in your dish, top it with cheese. Beautiful. And into the oven. And I love it. So, really, and how really long nice. in the oven? And, and do you preheat the oven? What's Hot, the temperature yes. there? Yes, preheat to 180 and bake it for half an hour. Oh. So the cheese will melt, it'll go golden. It'll be beautiful. And then you will yes. serve it with all the normal sort of Mexican condiments. All, You're doing sour yes. cream, so a bit guacamole. Of Absolutely, bit of guacamole. have to have it. Indeed. Some salsa, some coriander. So much flavor. See. Si. Beautiful. We Great. I'm all cheesed up over here. I'm ready Perfect. to go. So that looks and that's going to go to the oven. Yep. I'm ready. Half an Popping hour. it in. Oh, I love this part. And then, the magic of TV. Uh, That's right over there. Uh, this is absolutely sensational. I think I want to take a little bit of a, 
Uh, go for it. Yes, okay, sir. fine. Go for it, yeah. If you want the recipe, expressoshow.com. We worked till late last night to get this sorted for you, so we're going to go for it. A quick taste from my side. Let's do that. Oh, look at this. Oh, look, look, a bit of this. Fantastic. A See? bit of the guacamole, <laughs> a bit of the sour cream, a little bit of salsa, and then one pie for you. Low carb taco pie is there. Here we go. Andale! Si! Mm. Gracias. Pleasure, Gracias. pleasure. It tastes so good. <laughs>